I'm thrilled to be back in the city I love and thousands of proud, hardworking American patriots. You're with me. We're all together. We've always been together. And I'd like to begin by asking a very simple question. Are you better off now than you were four years ago? I'm here today with a message of hope for all Americans. With your vote in this election, I will end inflation. I will stop the invasion of criminals coming into our country. And I will bring back the American dream. We need the American dream to come back home. This will be America's new golden age. It's going to happen quickly, too, very quickly. Every problem facing us can be solved, but now the fate of our nation is in your hands. Next Tuesday, you have to stand up and you have to tell Kamala Harris that you've done a terrible job. That crooked Joe Biden has done a terrible job. You've destroyed our country. We're not going to take it anymore. Kamala, you're fired. Get out. Get out. You're fired. The United States is now an occupied country, but it will soon be an occupied country no longer. Not going to be happening. Not going to be happening. November 5th, 2024, nine days from now, will be Liberation Day in America. It's going to be Liberation Day. On day one, I will launch the largest deportation program in American history to get the criminals out. I will rescue every city and town that has been invaded and conquered. And we will put these vicious and bloodthirsty criminals in jail. We're going to kick them the hell out of our country as fast as possible. And to expedite removals of Trende, Aragua, and other savage gangs like MS-13, which is equally vicious, I will invoke the Alien Enemies Act of 1798. Think of that. Under Kamala, America is a sanctuary for criminals and for illegal aliens that are in our country illegally. I will immediately ban all sanctuary cities in the United States. Kamala's gross incompetence disqualifies her from being President of the United States of America. She is grossly incompetent. All you have to do is look at her interviews, look at what she did the other night on fake news, CNN. Just take a look. She couldn't answer a question. She's unfit for office. Everyone knows it. No one respects her. No one trusts her. No one takes her seriously. Everyone knows she is a very low IQ individual. So if you want to end this disaster, you got to get out and vote. Just go out and vote. You got to get out. We have to put it away. We're close. We're so close. You know, usually the Republicans are losing in the first week in the early voting. And we did something that has not been done. I don't think, Speaker, it's been done yet, but it's been done for us. We're leading every one of the swing states, all seven of them. So. For the past nine years, we have been fighting against the most sinister and corrupt forces on Earth. With your vote in this election, you can show them once and for all that this nation does not belong to them. This nation belongs to you. It belongs to you. And we will make America great again. Thank you, New York. God bless you. God bless you all. Thank you.